light has to shine in the midst of a darkness that the minister said on New Year's Day of this year would be so thick that the book of Exodus in the Bible calls it a darkness that was so thick it can be felt. When a darkness come on America that can be felt, that's dark indeed. Can you imagine how dark it has to be for you to be able to feel the darkness, Brother Herman? For you to feel the darkness? When you feel darkness, that means the very molecular atmosphere has gone through some thermodynamic changes and the matter of the atmosphere has changed state from a gas to either a liquid or a solid. No more computing with Avogadro's number to try and find the number of molecules of any gas in a mole. It don't matter because it ain't a gas no more. It's so dark you can feel it. And when you can feel the darkness, you can't even move in the darkness. So the Bible said for three days they couldn't get up, they couldn't move, they couldn't stand, they couldn't do anything. But, 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 there was light in the dwellings of the children of Israel. I said children of Israel because it's us. Not the children, that might be somebody else. I'm talking about the children of Israel. There was light in our dwellings, even though it was dark. Now if the darkness is so thick, that it can be felt. My question is, how powerful is the light that can shine through that kind of darkness? And then how focused is that powerful light that it remains in the houses of those who choose to obey God? Y'all all right? If you want to choose to obey the devil, you're in the dark. You're going to be in the dark. And the darkness that you choose over the light of Islam will thicken around you and congeal in your nostrils and lungs, choking you off, drowning you in the darkness. And the material of the darkness that you chose will destroy the life that God gave you in order for you to glorify him as the giver of life. I say again, accept Islam and live. Reject it and die. It's getting dark in America. And the only way you can have any kind of light is you better hurry and run to the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan and the Nation of Islam. That's true. That light, that light, that light, is so important that you have heard about it all your life. You heard about it, but now it's time to activate it. You've been saying you're going to do it since you was a little bitty. In church, junior choir, the first song you learned was Jesus Love Me, This I Know. Be why? Be why? Because of that. Yeah. You remember that? Huh? You learned that song in church, didn't you, Brother Robert? Huh? That was number one. Now, number two, what's the second song you learned? This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, come on, y'all. I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, what? I'm going to let it, say what, y'all? Uh-huh. Okay, all right. Now, so, that, so you know you got to a little light. Is that right? Huh? It's been little hints at it all along. You know you got a light. You've been using your light for the wrong stuff. Huh? You've been singing the wrong song. It ain't about, come on, baby, light my fire. That ain't what it is. It's not about you going to an arena for a show with P-Funk, Boosie Collins. As soon as they come out and the lights get dark and the mothership come on the stage and you high as a kite, first thing you do, click out a light. Ah! That ain't the light I'm talking about. I'm talking about the light of spiritual direction in a world of darkness that only has been deposited in you, the sons and daughters of Africa in America who choose to follow the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. What's your choice today? Brother Kali used to say, you can get with this or you can get with that. But you better get with this because this is where it's at. That's what time it is. I'm so glad I'm a Muslim, so proud I'm in the nation of Islam. I got the best brothers, the best sisters, the best family. I got love all over the country. I get off a plane and people hug me. My brothers come up, oh, brother, good to see you. I got Muslim brotherhood all over the country. What the hell you got as a Negro? I don't know. Why you want to stay a Negro? I don't know. Why don't you come on and get with Muhammad in the nation of Islam?